When I was 19 years old, I moved from New Jersey to Florida. My family had moved out there first, and then I decided to follow them. So I did it in two days, and I spent the night at a hotel room in between. Now, at the time, I was so very interested in reading about spiritual topics. I was, oh, I forget exactly which book I was reading. I think it was one of the spiritism books by Alain Kardec. Um, That's not important. I was just, I was, so I was reading it before going to sleep and that got me thinking about all sorts of these spiritual topics. And so when, you know, after I decided I was done reading, closed the book and curled up in bed, turn off the light, la la la, all that stuff. And well, me, I never fall asleep quickly. I always spend a while just sitting there thinking, thinking, thinking. I, I've i always been that way. I'm still that way. It These days, my husband falls asleep so quickly. It's like, how is that even possible? How do you not spend an hour tossing and turning first? But (laughs) anyway, so I've always been that way. Well, that night in that hotel room when I was moving from New Jersey to Florida, my mind was wandering and thinking about spiritual topics because that was what I had been reading about is and it's super interesting to me thinking about the nature of reality god eternity what we're here for all of that all of that and and my mind was wandering and as my mind wandered i started imagining the you know myself there and laying in the bed and Almost as if I started to float upwards and seeing the world kind of get smaller. And I saw myself floating up and up and up into space. And I I imagined or saw or I don't know, you know, it felt like my imagination at the time. I just imagined as if I was floating. It was like I was floating backwards and watching Everything recede in front of me and the planets of our solar system passing by me and and me going farther out, farther out and then watching galaxies flow past me and still me floating farther and farther and farther out into space. And as I did that, it was, it was like I was thinking also about the nature of existence, the nature of reality, and having just all of these thoughts and connecting with all of these concepts about, I don't know, I I can't even remember specifically just what it all means, what it's all for. And one of the, one of the things that has fascinated me in thinking about God, the universe, um, reality, <laughs> uh, the the Big Bang theory, all of that stuff is how how does anything go on forever? How does infinity exist? And as I was drifting, just thinking before I was sleeping that night in the hotel, I was thinking about all of these things, and it was like. It was like I was coming to realizations and understanding about all of this. And it was like I expanded as I watched all of these stars, these galaxies, the universe receding in front of me as I floated backwards and suddenly it was like (sighs) suddenly I just understood there was this understanding as I was floating backwards as I was as 
the universe was receding around me. It was like I began to just understand everything. There was this moment where I understood infinity. I understood God. I understood reality. I understood everything. Everything made perfect sense to me. I can't even describe it in this moment. It was the most amazing thing ever. Everything made sense. (laughs) Everything, everything, everything made sense. And it was like, it was like I understood the perfection of everything. I understood all of it. It all was right. Everything. <laughs> I don't even know how else to say it. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over again. But everything made sense. And I was in perfect union with the universe. I was the universe and the universe was me. And I felt it. I was it. I knew it. I just, there was, it wasn't a mental thing. It was perfect experience where I felt me as the universe and the universe is me. I was everything and everything was me. And it was Oh, it was indescribable. <laughs> and then, oh my god, and then there was this one there was this one moment as I was in the middle of this profound understanding where suddenly I remembered that I had a body and that this body existed here and was in this hotel room. And it was I don't know how else to describe it or explain it but it was like I looked over my shoulder back at my body and suddenly oh my god suddenly I came crashing back down into my body and I lost everything that I had understood everything that I have felt and my consciousness crashed straight back into my body as I remembered that I had it as I quote unquote looked over my shoulder at it It it's kind of weird because that really was kind of how it was. I don't know. It's hard to, so hard to explain. But in that moment, I woke up complete. I was wide awake. I like sat straight up in my bed and it was like suddenly everything that I had just understood, all of the infinity that I had just experienced I didn't <laughs> anymore and my I was in my body again. I was limited again and I could feel myself as a separate being and it was the most terrifying feeling that I ever felt to be this separate and to be so alone. And I could feel the air on my skin. And it was the strangest feeling of limitation in this body. And oh, it, it, it was terrifying. Honestly, I was so afraid being in that hotel room completely alone after having that experience and being this, this being in this body, you know? Um, (laughs) and I laid there for a while. I don't remember how long it took me to fall asleep again, but I'm right now, even as I think about it, I'm cold. My hands are freezing and I'm shaking because I can go back to it. I mean, I can't really get back into that complete experience, but I can touch it peripherally, briefly. You know, I can get this peripheral sense of what it was. I can remember the feeling. I don't remember 
any of the profound insights that I had, which there's a part of me that feels infinitely sad because I can't remember the understanding that I had in that moment of everything, (laughs) of the perfection of reality. It was Oh my God. It, like I said, it was, it was terrifying and it was so sad. Oh my God. You know, so I did eventually fall back to sleep and I woke up the next morning and, and I could still recall the experience without the understanding. And I drove to Florida and life continued and whatever. And, you know, it's funny. I think I even forgot about this experience for a few years afterwards. Um, after I started doing the path work, which that would have been, what, uh, six years later, something like that, was, it was after a while of doing the path work that I really remembered that experience. And kind of started to understand maybe what had happened to me. But, but anyway, after doing the path work, after doing the shadow work and becoming more, more whole, I don't know, more healed. I, after working a lot on myself, that experience has really come into focus and it's fascinating to remember, you know, it always makes me a little sad that I can't, remember how everything came together and how it all made sense. But I guess that, you know, I guess that as as the soul inhabiting this body and this incarnation, that's not something that the intellect can truly fathom. So I suppose it makes sense that all that I've been left with is that feeling. But, oh my God, that feeling. You know, when I think of how I feel about life, when I think of how I feel so deeply that everything is okay, there is nothing going wrong Everything happens perfectly as it should, all is well, no matter how we may look out at the world around us and think that we see brokenness. It's not. Honestly, I feel this deep sense that it's all okay. Abraham Hicks says, there's nothing serious going on here. And Man, I feel that. I honestly have that deep, I guess, guttural <laughs> feeling. I'm being a sacral generator. My gut is my connection to source, that, that gut feeling. And I feel it in my gut. Everything is okay. And I know it. And I experienced it in that experience <laughs> where... I understood everything. And even though I couldn't put it into words, that feeling, that knowingness of the okayness, the perfection, how everything is as it should be and everything always will be as it should be. We just, in these bodies, don't have the capability to see that big picture. That has always stayed with me. That has always guided me. And I guess if there's one thing that I wish I could convey through telling this story is that, oh, my dear friend, everything, no matter how wrong it seems, it's okay. It's going to be okay. Everything is okay. It's going to be okay.